An arc is part of a circle. We have three vocabulary words relating to an arc. I'm going to start in the bottom one because everything depends on the semicircle. A semicircle is going to be half of your circle. So if you're, you have a diameter, you cut off a semicircle. We usually use three letters to talk about it. Now, if I look at a minor arc, that's going to be less than a semicircle. And if I just state two letters, I'm going to say it's a minor arc because the question is, if I say arc AB, am I talking about the minor arc from A to B or the major arc from A to B? Well, always assume you're going to talk about the minor arc because we'll put a third letter in for the major arc, like ADB, like we have here. So anything bigger than 180 degrees is a major arc. So let's identify those on the first example. I'm told W to C is a radius, and I want to identify each as a minor arc or a major arc or a semicircle. And since C is my center, X to Y is my semicircle, is my diameter. X to Y is my diameter. So if I look at X, Z, Y, let's trace that. X to Z to Y, the endpoints are on my diameter. So this would be your semicircle. If I look at W to Z to X, I'll trace that one too. So I'm going to go from W to Z all the way. Whoops. I said that backwards. Let's try that again. W to Z to X. That was it. So I'm going to go from W to Z to X. Notice I got more than a semicircle here, so this is a major arc. And then if I look at just X to W, X to W is less than a semicircle, so that's my minor arc. Arcs are congruent if they have the same central angles with the same radius. So if I'm looking in the, in the same circle or in congruent circles, two minor arcs are congruent if and only if their central angles are the same. So on this particular problem, if angle 1 is congruent to angle 2, then FG is congruent to HJ because we know central angles in their arcs are the same measure.